Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use QGIS to display geographical information with the help of pie charts. Now over here I have one shapefile called Districts of Portugal. So let's drag this one and drop it here. Uh, first of all, just to explore what sort of data that we are working with. Now over here, as you can see, we have the districts of uh, different districts of Portugal. Now if I were to open this shapefile by going to the attributes table over here, you can see that we have a couple of columns now if you are a bit confused right now about all of these uh, what all of these data actually mean you can see that the first column shows the different names of the of each district and the second column and the third and the fourth columns actually show the preference of the people of each district when it comes to public transportation uh, private transportation or whether they actually showed no particular preference uh, out of those two so for example if you if you look at the first district, you can see that 91% of the people actually prefer private uh, public transportation, whereas 5% uh, of the population prefer private transportation modes and 4% actually did not really show any apparent uh, specific preference of uh, pri transportation modes. Just keep in mind that these data are basically uh, some arbitrary data, so, so do not make use of this data for any of your actual work because uh, I have just created this data set just for the purpose of uh, demonstrating how we can incorporate this kind of different data in order to visually represent uh, those information with the help of uh, some pie charts. And uh, the next two columns actually show the area of each district. The first one over here shows the area in square meters and the second one is basically a conversion from the first into uh, square kilometers. Alright, so let's close this one and see first how we can actually uh, proceed in order to show information using a pie chart. Now before doing that, if you would like to attribute different colors for each and every district, you can simply go to properties over here and you can go to symbology and from here you can select categorized and I'm going to assign the colors based on the name of each district and the color ramp. I can actually choose one color ramp from here. Well, I can just select a random color ramp over here and then if I press classify like this it actually uh, attribute different colors randomly for each district like this. I think that should be it so that it's a bit more clear. Alright so that's about it for coloring each district by different colors. Now if you were to actually represent those different transportation information using pie charts what you can do is you can again go to properties and over here you see an option called diagrams. Now out of the different diagram options which we have over here, pie chart, text diagram, histogram or stack bars. I'm going to go with the first option which is basically the second option which is pie charts over here. And after that you can click on these attributes and from here you actually have the option to add the specific attributes of that particular shapefile for which you would like to generate the, the pie charts. Now I'm going to add, add three attributes. The first attribute is the percentage which prefers pu uh, public transportation. I'm going to click that attribute and add it over here. And private transportation is the second one. And then third one is basically the no preference. So you can even actually go over here and maybe change, make some changes to the colors. So public transportation, I'm going to put it as blue. Let's say private, I'm going to specify that as green and no preference, maybe let's say red. All right. So once you have done that, you can actually very quickly create a pie chart just by selecting these and when you hit on apply you can see that pie chart is already created for us now i can click ok now if i expand this over here you can see that if you if you forget about these different colors of each district you can see that we have three options the private pub, uh, the public private and no preference so let's say for example if i zoom into this particular district you can see that a majority of the people actually prefer uh, public transportation which is represented by blue color followed by the people who show no specific preference on each transportation mode a very minor fraction also prefer uh, private transportation now this is actually the way to read this diagram but i'm sure you might be interested in actually making some changes in this in this graph in the way how it actually appears so if you would like to make further changes you can actually go to properties and well I can move this graph to somewhere over here so that while I'm making the changes it'll be quite clear. Alright so what I can do is I can go to this rendering. From here you can either change the opacity of the pie charts. Now if I reduce the opacity and if I click on apply you can see that now the opacity has been changed. 
Now similarly you can even change the line color from here and the line width from here. Also change the starting angle. For example you can see that now the starting angle is stop. Now if I were to actually set the starting angle to be uh, let's say left and when I click apply you can see that this horizontal bar this is the starting angle now it has been changed to the left side. I'm going to retain it as stop and also the direction you can change it to be either clockwise or counterclockwise. I think these changes can be tweaked based on your own preference but the thing which I'm more interested in is this size option. Now you can see that we can set a fixed size now the units in, are in millimeters so you can see that right now by default it's having 15 millimeters. Now if I want to let's say reduce the size of the the pie charts I can maybe put around 10 over here. Yeah, You can see that the size of the pie chart actually changed. Now similarly if you want to increase the size of the pie chart you can even set a value of, of a, maybe let's say 25 yeah and you can see that it sort of uh, got enlarged like this. Now rather than setting a fixed size you can even control the size based on a scale. Now let's say that you actually have the option to select the attribute by which you you would like to do the scaling. Now in this example if you can remember we had one attribute called the area in square kilometers so I'm going to actually select that area attribute because I would like to do the scaling based on the area. Now after you select this attribute you can find the maximum value of the area by simply clicking over here so that it'll just sort of scan through all the available attributes and it'll actually take the the maximum value like this. Now after you do that you can since we don't have any idea at the moment how this would be displayed. You can actually just click on apply and see how the figure looks. Now you can see that we actually have the option to scale it up more. So you can increase that by changing the size over here. Let's say I'm going to put about 35. That seems to be a bit too much so I'm going to maybe reduce it to about 20. Now you can see that the charts are being drawn based on a linear scale according to the specific attribute which we uh, specified over here. Now if I click OK and if I actually change the zooming like this you can see that as we zoom in and zoom out the appearance of the pie chart also changes correspondingly. Now there are other couple of things which you can actually change for example if you would like to change the placement. Right now by default the pie chart is being placed over the centroid of each polygon. I would like to retain it like that but in case if you would like to let's say use the perimeter of each polygon to sort of place the pie chart you can even do that simply like this. Yeah now you can see that the pie charts actually move to the perimeter of, of the polygon but I would like to return it to be over centroid. Yeah I guess that's pretty much it uh, when it comes to the changes that I would like to do in terms of uh, in order to fix the appearance of uh, each pie chart. After that you can just simply click apply and and uh, click OK. Yeah just one more thing if you are if you're planning to add this into sort of a map layout you might be interested in putting this these different blocks which represent the public transportation private transportation no apparent no preference uh, in sort of a fully descriptive manner. So in that case if you would like to change that you can simply go to properties and once you go to attributes you can actually change this legend over here simply by double clicking. So similarly so just like that I can change this one to be private uh, public transportation, this one to be private transportation and this one to be no preference and hit apply and you can see that these things actually changed over here accordingly so that you can use this even to create a proper map uh, with a proper legend like this. So I guess that's about it for this tutorial. If you did learn something new don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to see this kind of very interesting uh, GIS related tutorials in this channel on a weekly basis. So thanks a lot for watching guys I'll see you in the next one.